Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA-18C and we're looking at dropping laser guided bombs which we will designate with our lightning targeting pod. We can have laser guided bombs on pylons 2, 3, 7 and 8. We can have GBU-10, 2,000 pound, GBU-12, 500 pound, GBU-16, 1,000 pounds or a brew 33 rack with two GBU 12s. This example, let's just go for two times GBU 12s and a teapot. We're in the air now. There are some targets on the peninsula ahead of us. Let's go and look at today's controls. To assign TDC to the right DDI, we have sensor control switch right. To slew the teapot, we'll have TDC up, down, left, and right. To create the ground target, we'll have TDC depress. To drop the bomb, we'll have weapon release. Gun trigger second detent to manually laze. Master arm to arm. Air to ground mode. Check our right hip ensure that FLIR is on and our laser designator is armed. Next let's find the target. Right DDI. Main menu. FLIR. Assign the TDC with SCS right and now we've got the diamond. Use our TDC slew keys to find the bad guys. I'm just going to stick my flare on to help me find them. There they are. Narrow field of view. Zoom in. Pick one of these. I'm going to turn flare off back to CCD. That will be accurate enough, I think, there. Press SCS right once to turn that, convert that into an area track, which we've done that. You can use a point track if you want, and you'll have to use a point track for a moving target. TDC depress now to create the target. Done. We now have a target 11.2 miles. Next, let's set the bomb up. So we're already in the stores of the SMS page. Select the bomb. Which mode do we want to drop? We can drop in these four modes, but we're almost always going to drop with auto because that's the best mode for a laser guided bomb. Electronic fuse, instant or delay, instant. We now have to set the laser code to match up with our T-Pod laser code. So code, and we've got this guy selected here code in the UFC 1588 I've decided to choose enter step to the next bomb because we may as well set that up as well code is already selected 1588 enter how do we want to drop the bombs let's go to UFC I would like to drop quantity two bombs multiple two bombs I'm going to drop two bombs together not something you would usually do but I just want to show it's something that you can do next teapot Oh, the code does not match. The teapod set up for 1688. So, teapod UFC, the laser designator. I'm going to clear that and make that 1588 enter. Let's check that this now says 1588 and it's not flashing. And that's correct. Let's now unpause. Look at the HUD. We would usually drop a laser guided from bomb from above 20,000 feet and around 400 knots. The reason is it will keep us out of small arms fire and low range SAM fire. But for this video, I'm gonna keep everything low and slow to help explain it. So we have our steering line here. The idea is we want to keep our velocity vector here on the steering line for steering guidance. We can see that we have a target designated through our blur here. We have auto mode selected as we have and a countdown in seconds until the bomb will be released. When that reaches five seconds, a timing cue will drop down the steering line and when it reaches our velocity vector here, the bomb will drop. When we visualize that cue, we will press and hold weapon release until it drops. So let's speed up time. There it is, press and hold weapon release. Both bombs will drop. We now get a countdown in times of seconds until the laser will automatically fire. LTD is now flashing, so it's automatically firing the laser. And we have a countdown here, TTI. That is the amount of seconds, time till impact. Let that run through. Three, two, one. And it's a little late. Boom, we have an explosion. What's going to happen now is a few seconds will run, then the automatic laser will stop, and then this guy here will reset to safe. And that's very important to remember, because the next time you want to go around and bomb the next target, you'll have to reset this LTD to arm. Let's just watch that happen. Okay, it stopped lasing, and we've reached the end of the cycle. Only other thing I've got to add is that I can override the automatic lasing and laser manually if I want. If I were to box trigger, 
on the teapod here and press and hold trigger second detent. You can see I'm now lazing with a flashing LTDR. Release the trigger, no longer lazing. Though most of the time you'll use the automatic lazing function. I hope that was useful and see you later.